Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we'll discuss a question which says that the table shows the number of paintings selected for exhibition. That is, this is the table given to us. Draw the graph of these figures. Calculate a set of moving averages using the most number of observations. Give reasons for your choice. Now in this question, since there are three terms, so we will calculate three term moving average. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is the procedure for calculating three yearly moving averages. Now for this, the data is given to us, that is, the years and the particular values in those years are given to us and we will calculate 3 yearly total and 3 yearly moving average in these columns. For the 3 yearly total in the first step, we will add the values of the first 3 years, that is the first, second and third year and place the total against the middle year which is the second year. So we will add the values of the first three years, that is we will add A, B and C and place the total against the second year. So this will be A plus B plus C and let it known as A1. Then in the next step, leave the first year's value, that is we will leave A and add up the values of the next three years. That is for the second, third and fourth year. So now we will add B, C and D and put this value against the middle year which is the third year. So we will write B plus C plus D against the third year and let us name as A2. So we will continue this process until the last year's value is taken for calculating the moving average. Now in the next step on dividing the three yearly totals by three you will obtain the three yearly moving average. That is for three yearly moving average we will divide the three yearly totals by three. Now here in this case the 3 yearly total is A1 which is equal to A plus B plus C. So we will divide it by 3 and put this value here. And here it will be A2 by 3. Here it will be A3 by 3. And here it will be A4 by 3. And then we will plot the points. which is the second year and A1 by 3 third year and A2 by 3 then next fourth year and A3 by 3 and fifth year and A4 by 3 so we will plot these points on the graph And join them we will obtain the trend line. So this result will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now in the question, this data is given to us. As we have discussed earlier, since there are three terms, so we will calculate three term moving average. So we write, since there are three terms, 
So when we calculate three term moving average. First of all, we will draw a table for the given data. So we have drawn a table. In the first column, we are having years. In the second column, months. In the third column, number of paintings. In the next column, we will calculate three term moving total. And in the last column, we will calculate three term moving average. Now using the result which is given in the key idea, in the first step we will add the values of the first three terms that are these values and place the total against the middle term. So we will put the total of these three values against the middle term which is April. So we will put the total that is 160 plus 324 plus 261 against this month of April which is equal to 745 and for the 3 term moving average we will divide this total by 3 so it will be 745 by 3 which is equal to 248.33 now in the next step, we will leave the first value and we will add the values of the next three terms which are these three terms. So we will add these three values and put it against the middle term which is September. So we will put this total that is 324 plus 261 plus 192 which is equal to 777 against the month of September. And similarly for the 3 term moving average, we will divide this total by 3 and 777 divided by 3 will be equal to 259. Now again for the next step, we will leave this value and then we will add the three values for the next three terms which are these three values for these three terms and we will put the sum against the middle term which is the month of January. So we will put it here and on adding these three values we will get 711. And on dividing this total by 3, that is 711 by 3, we will get 237. And now we will continue this process until the last year's value is taken from calculating the moving average. Now we will take these three values and their sum will get 738. And on dividing it by 3, we will get 246. Now next we will take these three numbers, that are these three values, and the sum of these three values will get 754. And on dividing it by 3, we will get 251.33. Now we will take these three values, and on adding these three, we will get 780 and 780 by 3 is 260. Now next we will take these three values and on adding these three, we will get 804 and 804 divided by 3 is equal to 268. And now we will take these three values and on adding this it will be 784 and dividing it by 3 it will be 261.33. Now next we will take these three values on adding them 
you will get 761 and on dividing it by 3 it will be 253.66 now next we will take these three values on adding them it will be equal to 810 and on dividing by 3 it will be 270 now next we will take these three values and on adding them we will get 823 and 823 by 3 is equal to 274.33 now next these three values on adding these three it will be 795 and 795 by 3 is 265 now next we will take these three values on adding them it will be equal to 802 and 802 by 3 is 267.33 next we will take these three values on adding them we will get 782 and 782 by 3 is 260.66 and now we will take these three values on adding them it will be 790 and 790 by 3 is 263.33 so we have continued the process until the last value is taken up for calculating the moving average and now we will plot the actual values and the trend values on the graph now for the year 1991 in the month of January the number of paintings are 160 so on the graph we can represent it like this that is for the month of January in the year 1991 the number of paintings are 160. Now in the year 1991, in the month of April, the number of paintings are 324. So in the graph, we are representing it like this, in this. In the year 1991, in the month of April, the number of paintings are 324. Similarly, we will plot all the actual values on the graph. So we have plotted all the actual values on the graph and on joining them we will get the graph of the actual values and now we will plot a graph for these trend values that is the moving averages. Now in the year 1991 for the month of April the moving average is 248.33 so in the graph we are having in the year 1991 for the month of April the moving average is 248.33 in the year 1991 for the month of September the moving average is 259 so for the month of September the moving average is 259 now next for the month of January in the year 1992 the moving average is 237 so in the year 1992 in the month of January the moving average is 237 similarly we will plot all the trend values on the graph so we have plotted all the trend values on the graph. Now on joining all these points, we are obtaining the trend line. That is, this is the graph for the trend values. So this is the solution of the given question. And that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.